Hi friends, this is Marie Spaulding with a quick introduction and demo of the AddiQuick Hobby. This is an awesome little tool, but it's not for everybody and it's perfect for some. So we want to give you a little insight to it and help you evaluate. You can always call us and ask us any questions and we'll try and help you assess whether you think this tool is for you. So first of all, it is a hobby tool. It's not designed for hours and hours of production. Um, they say if it gets hot to turn it off. We do have some customers who use it quite extensively and they run two, <laughs> shut one off when it gets warm. Um, as of this filming, we know that they are working on beta testing a pro, but this is the hobby and it's great for some things. So it has a quick release uh, power supply. It's just a standard adapter, but whenever you do any changing of the needles, we suggest you unplug it. And if you have little ones left around, you probably don't want to leave it plugged in either. The needles are inside this cone tip. And to change them, you need to unscrew this. They are seated inside of this shaft, which goes up and down at a rate of 2,500 repetitions per minute. And it does have a slight swivel to it, which is, allows you to use sort of a sweeping motion when you use it. To change a needle, you just unscrew this little cone cap. Take it off all the way so that you can make sure to seat your needle in all the way flush. You don't want it to be sticking up at all. So this is like a little vise. I don't know if you can see that. It just opens up and it helps if I can see. Just make sure your needle is seated all the way down and then put that cone tip back on. You want it to be seated in there properly so that it operates in this nose properly and doesn't hit this little area here. So it comes out a very tiny hole and you want to make sure it does that right. <laughs> okay, so that's a quick overview. Like all tools, I think all felting tools, I've seen not every tool is good for everything and they all have their sweet spots. So I want to show you first what I think the AddiQuick is not good for. I think the AddiQuick is not good for starting something like a ball. If I want to felt a ball, um, whatever stage it's at, I can make great progress using a multi-needle tool. I can hit all areas of it, work around the ball very quickly, and compact it very evenly. This little grouping of needles does great work, and this is loaded with four 38 spiral needles. So great workhorse needles. You could use 38 spirals or 38 stars. Those would also be great. But you know that you can felt the ball really fast with the right kind of multi-needle tool. With the AddiQuick, when we make a ball, we always start by condensing the fibers. We can make it fairly small, because you'll see pretty fast that this single needle moving at a really rapid rate is not the best way to compress such a large area. Now, my ball is fairly firm, and let's turn this on. So I stopped because I think you could see that I was hitting a bunch of little spots and while I have that wool initially holding together, I don't feel like I'm compressing the ball all the way around like you can with the multi-needle tool and really doing a great compaction. I feel like, you know, it just dives into little holes. So starting something is not its sweet spot. But once you have something started, there's a couple of ways that the AddiQuick is just stellar.
One of the sweet spots of the AdiQuick is adding texture and compaction with minimal effort in a short amount of time. We have it loaded right now with a 32 gauge felting needle, which is very coarse. And notice how fast we can add dimension to this little sphere. So doing that amount of compaction, getting this deep divot in there, if you can see how deep that is, or getting these deep lines as if you're making a pumpkin, or flattening this bottom would have taken a heck of a lot longer with a single needle tool, even using our 32, the same 32 triangle needle. So whether you're adding texture to a face or a tree or a pumpkin or a picture, you'll see that the AdiQuick can do it really fast. I do think that it's faster when the item is already fairly compressed. If you have something that's kind of just loosely felted like this ball, it won't have the same kind of impact because the fibers it's binding to are not already firm. So I know this ball is white, but maybe you can see that with this ball, it's still really sloppy and it's starting to get uneven. And that's because it wasn't firm at all when we started trying to drive these deep depressions. But if you have something that's firm and already started, you can get really nicely defined lines, textures, depressions. This is very flat now and won't roll around and deep sockets, whether it's an eye socket or whatever, um, once your piece is already firm. And the AdiQuick is just awesome for that.
Now this little tail feather was wet felted and then applied in place so you can see how quickly the Adiquick added texture to that as well. On a piece that you already have felted or that you've already felted pretty well, you can use the Adiquick as a smoothing tool and just a finishing tool. This little gnome was needle felted just with single needles or and or our pen tool with a couple of needles in it. And if you have something this size or even larger or even a picture and you want to go over the whole thing with the Adiquick, if you put in the 38 gauge needles, you can sweep this entire surface without leaving big lines. So you can see that this is fairly smooth, but you can kind of see the needle marks. And let's hit it with the Addy Quick. So you can see that we have tackled this entire area right here with the Adiquick and it's just a little more, it's slightly more compressed than this side, but all that sweeping and dragging didn't leave any lines or mar the surface at all. You can even get in here and all these crooks and crannies into this hat and further work on it. So this has just been a quick introduction to the Adiquick. I wanted to share with you that, you know, if you try and use it for something like starting a ball, you might feel frustrated. So use your other tools that can cover a larger surface area because you have more needles, you know, together in one place. Start something with a multi-needle tool and get it a little more the shape you need it. The Adiquick is going to be great for making deep lines and textures in pieces, flattening the bottoms of things, helping to really get that straight if you want to flatten something or if you want to make deep impressions and dimples in something. But then with the finer needles, you can use it to really refine and smooth and finish up a piece, whether that's 3D or a picture. Remember that this is a hobby tool. It's not designed for production. It's designed to be used um, as a hobby. So if it gets hot, we suggest you turn it off. Um, if you're having any issues with it, call the store that you bought it from. They do come with a six month warranty. So we suggest that you try it out when you first get it, but don't push it beyond its limits. It's a hobby tool, have fun with it. Let us know if we can help in any way and feel free to call us with your suggestions. Until next time, make it a great day and as always, happy felting.